in this uh, session i am introducing you to the world of visual basic for applications vba especially with excel as the base now a very small session where i am going to cover first of all what is vba all about what all can you do with vba what are the good about what is good about vba how can it really extend your understanding of excel and uh, yeah though vba is much much uh, uh, positively uh, positioned kind of a product there are a couple of limitations and liabilities associated with vba so even i am going to give you a brief overview of that first of all if i have to understand what vba is it's as good as any other programming language like a c like a c++ like a java it's a programming language created by microsoft especially for the purpose of automating the operations in the applications so whatever are the applications that are supporting by microsoft like office applications excel word right access powerpoint ms project so like this there are different kinds of applications that are supported by microsoft if i want to op automate any of my operations in any of these particular tools vba is useful which means i have a separate vba for excel i have a separate vba for word like that i have a separate vba for powerpoint but the ground reality is if i understand vba per se learning it for any application would be more and more comfortable so i have to learn it with uh, one of these tools to start with and uh, the whole structure and all if it is understood i can extend it quite comfortably to any other software as well one thing we have to understand it's a very very powerful tool which can help in controlling excel especially where the manual way of doing things is very difficult to execute i don't want to do this manually or it's very difficult to do something manually it requires so much of patience it's boring so those kind of activities where you may want to do some kind of routine repeated activity again and again in excel you can automate that entire process through the help of vba and the other thing is you really don't need to uh, buy anything extra it comes in default with the microsoft office suite itself if you have excel or uh, any microsoft office uh, tools on your machine vba associated with those tools is coming by default for you now sometimes people use the word macros as well now are these two one and the same are these two different if they are different what is the difference between them when it actually started macro was a name which was generally used for automation of a sequence of commands if i am performing 10 steps one after the other that entire 10 steps being automated is what we used to call as macro but as the time progressed all the vba related procedures vba related codes generally macro the word macro and vba are getting interchanged are used interchangeably so we can follow the same convention as long as we are talking of uh, the world of excel the vba and the macro should mean one and the same and in the same context sometimes people try to find out what is the difference from the traditional visual basic and visual basic also belongs to microsoft vba also belongs to microsoft so are these two one and the same what is the key difference between them and that is where i say very simple 
VBA is always specially designed for the applications. It is exclusively designed for Excel, it is designed for Word, it is designed for PowerPoint, it is designed for Access, it is designed for Project and many other Microsoft Office applications. Whereas Visual Basic per se is a language where you can create standalone executable applications. I can design a complete application in Visual Basic, but in case of VBA, I can't create standalone. It has to be an Excel application or it has to be a Word application or it has to be a PowerPoint application. It can't be. It definitely requires the presence of some of these systems, some of these tools on your machine if you have to execute a VBA application program. So that's where the key difference is, right? And somewhere in the middle, probably uh, into, uh, towards uh, the close to 2010 era, it was, uh, there was a lot of talk that Microsoft is going to uh, uh, go away with VBA. But what has been uh, observed uh, is it is continuously supporting VBA and it has publicly stated that VBA is here to say, here to stay. So it has been stating again and again that uh, it is going to support VBA even in future. So learning VBA is very uh, helpful and it can really help the Excel users to automate their tasks and bring in lot and lot of flexibility and saving the time as far as executing Excel is concerned. Now, just let's look at some of the things which VBA can deliver to us which may or may not be that feasible with uh, the regular Excel. Especially if I have some kind of a frequently performing task, VBA can automate that. So, which means some task which is too time consuming, I can execute it automatedly through VBA. I can save time. Similarly, if it is too cumbersome, too much boring to execute manually, too much uh, complex to execute manually, I can take the help of VBA. For example, if I have to generate a weekly report or a monthly report every day in the same format, every week in the same format, so more or less the process is the same, only the data will differ. In those kind of cases, I can automate that kind of an activity. Especially if I want to perform the same task, same set of activities, not on just one Excel workbook, but on 100 Excel workbooks. There also VBA is going to automate my task. The other good thing is you don't need to be an expert in uh, programming. Though, yes, the more and more you learn about the programming, the more and more you can uh, program, the more it is helpful. But at least to start with, you don't need to be an abnormal programmer or superficial programmer to start learning and using VBA. Many VBA commands or at least half of VBA or a good amount of VBA can quite comfortably be recorded using Excel. So the starting point is already present. And many of the commands of VBA are very, very easy to understand, easy to implement and even easy to customize. So that's where you are really gaining where to, to gaining when you start learning VBA. The other dimension, every task which is manual, which you can do manually, you can automate it through the VBA. Every task that is done manually can be done by the VBA. The only difference is VBA is much faster and because it is taken care by the system, the scope for human error is much, much lesser. And there is a possibility to perform event programming where some set of events, uh, some set of activities, a sequence of activities uh, are performed based on some event happening. When I open a sheet, I automatically want some set of uh, activities to happen. Or when I click on some button, I want some set of activities to happen in the background. 
So that is what we call as event programming. This event programming is very uh, difficult to be accomplished in uh, the plain Excel. VBA can provide all kinds of facilities in executing these things. Now, the other dimension or the other advantage is it helps you in creating your own worksheet functions. You can create your own formulas in Excel. Now, you may say there are almost 400 plus formulas that are already built in into Excel. Why do I need my own formula? But let me tell you, sometimes to accomplish your business need, you may have to combine two or three or four formulas together. And it becomes a very lengthy formula. It will execute your objective, but it's a very lengthy formula. In that case, what is that you can do? You can automate. You can create one formula which integrates these two, three, four formulas and finally give you one single result. You can very well do that. And that is what we are calling as user defined function. So, the, you can comfortably handle custom calculations which are not directly provided by Excel or in some cases I may have to use a few set of uh, functions to uh, generate one, one business requirement. Complicated. I don't want to maintain that complication every time so I better develop a formula for myself. So, that is where VBA is facilitating you. Even you can create very interesting look and feel applications. You can design your own user forms. You can create your own dialog boxes. You can make the feel of Excel look attractive by using the various features associated with the VBA. You can make the VBA Excel combination more and more user friendly. You can create informational pop-up boxes. So you can make it look like any other standalone application. You can make it so much user friendly for someone who does not know anything about uh, Excel or a VBA. He can get, uh, uh, he can get an application with a, with a very helpful set of instructions so that he can execute the application quite professionally. And at the same time, the, there is a facility where we can connect to various other Microsoft Office applications. I can from Excel through a VBA, I can connect quite comfortably to a PowerPoint. I can connect uh, extensively to Word. I can connect extensively to Access. The regular linking between these can very well be enhanced by using the VBA code. So, if I start thinking through, there are so many advantages that I can really enjoy by starting to have a knowledge of the Visual Basic for application. But at the same time, it has some limitations as well because VBA is heavily dependent on how Excel is uh, changing. Now, if there is a possibility that in future Microsoft uh, Office uh, gets changed drastically, there is a possibility that VBA also will get affected act, uh, as such. But let's try to understand at least in 2007, 2010 and 2013, there has hardly been any change to the VBA, though Excel has been changing with some level of improvisations in formulas, features, but VBA has not been touched upon till date. So there is a possibility that some drastic changes might come up in the future with the VBA. Then the other thing is all the operating environments, all the operating systems don't run VBA in the same manner. Probably uh, the Mac 2008 version of Excel did not support VBA at all, though the later versions again supported it. So different operating systems do, uh, have a different way of running the VBA, which means uh, any application we are designing, we may have to test it on different environments. And at the same time, something that is uh, worth understanding is not all companies uh, especially the IT department of the companies, they support the, the they support uh, VBA. 
generally uh, because uh, there is a security issue associated with uh, VBA. There is a possibility that malicious uh, uh, malwares can very well be uh, introduced. So because of that reason, a lot of uh, IT companies restrict in terms of having these uh, macro enabled workbooks in their organization. So that is uh, one limitation. Probably uh, th that's where uh, uh, we have to really check whether the organization is using VBA or not. And the last one, I don't know whether I need to call it as an advantage or a disadvantage. It's too voluminous as a programming language. But of course, the learning curve is very easy because there is something called recorder which can help us more than half of the knowledge. But as such, it's a very voluminous programming language and if I have to keep memorizing every keyword, every activity, it's a huge time consuming activity. But of course, because of this recorder, I am uh, saving a lot of my time and energy in terms of remembering a lot of things. So overall, though there are some small uh, negatives associated, overall I see VBA can really enhance an Excel user to generate and uh, automate uh, and create dynamic uh, applications uh, in a very effective manner. So, uh, uh, so this chapter would have uh, given you some kind of a good insight into what a BBA is, what it can do for you, as well as what are the kind of limitations that are associated with BBA. Thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much.